Good afternoon, everyone. A blizzard has just rolled in through China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, dropping approximately a foot of snow that has damaged and killed the wheat crop parts of it, as well as the florets that were blooming for the fruit trees this year are also frozen and damaged. Kyrgyzstan and the capital Bishkek recording the lowest temperatures ever in the history of their meteorological observations. And the New Horizons spacecraft approaching Pluto finds that the solar wind is the weakest of the space age. A look here on the map where Urumuchi is in Xinjiang province. It's in the far west of China. A little bit closer look. These locations, Altai, Tacheng, Tianshan, Ili, were all incredibly heavy snows, far exceeding what was in Urumuchi, the capital city. China issued the highest level blizzard warning, which was blue for this area in Xinjiang and Gansu. A look at some of the conditions on the streets there. This is in April, and this is one of the warmest parts of China. It should not be snowing there right now. There should be flowers on the trees and crops growing in the field at this point of the year. Speaking of which, the cold temperatures were negative 8 Celsius for several days, which have damaged the flowering fruit trees. Their harvest this year should be down because of this, as well as at least 5,000 acres of wheat have been damaged or outright killed off. As you can see, the wheat grass was up already, and this intense cold is going to take a toll on that crop. Now that was this year, but in 2014, there were also late snows in, in Xinjiang. Is this becoming a trend? And a bit of trivia for you here, 2015 in these areas of Inner Mongolia, Shanxi, Gansu, and Xinjiang have had four major dust storms across the area just so far in these first four months. But last year in China, during that time, they only had two. If you're not familiar with this area in western China, it's where the Silk Road went through. Quick history lesson. This is the Xinjiang Karakoram Highway from Kashgar to Tashkurgan. Full of history, thousands of years of cities have come and gone in there. Now traveling a little bit further west along the Silk Road, we're going to get into Central Asia and Kyrgyzstan, which recorded the coldest temperatures in the meteorological observation history of that country. This was in the capital, Bishkek. Now this ties a 1941 record, but they actually said it was cooler than during that exact evening. This comes from the World Meteorological Organization about the average temperatures in Bishkek during March. Average temperature is around 10, maybe down to zero, but it was minus 13, which is quite a bit cooler. If we take a look here at the highly day and low temperatures in March, it's already into April, so it should only be around 5 degrees, but it was negative 13. Again, in Udamuchi, we saw the same thing. It's negative 8. It's usually 10 to 12 degrees there right now for the lows. This is a location map throughout Central Asia of the precipitation and air temperature stations. I left a link below if you'd like to dig in further and take a look around each station. These weather hazard summaries come from Relief Web. In the Central Asia, weather hazards put the temperatures at minus 20 degrees Celsius across Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. You can see the color coding there where the heavy snows are and the abnormal cold. This is from March 27th to April 2nd. And as we continue in through April 3rd through the 9th, they're expecting more of the same. These are going to be 15 below Celsius. Extreme cold far, far, far below normal along with snows and some flooding associated with that. The New Horizons spacecraft from NASA is on its approach to Pluto. This will give us some of the clearest images and some of the best data ever about the Pluto system. What they're finding though is the solar wind blowing is the weakest of the space age. And these low solar winds obviously are from a reduced output from the sun. And as we can see, this is from Dr. Abutsamov at the Pulkovo Observatory in Russia. He does a nice overlay chart here. I left a link below for you as well. As you can see, our solar cycle right now is on the downtrend and we should be getting back into something like the 1810 or 1823 temperatures coming up over this next solar cycle. Solar cycle 25 and 26 are forecast to be incredibly low, at least as low as the Dalton minimum. This was a temperature reconstruction that I overlaid the collapse of Chinese dynasties on in an earlier video. As you can see, they happen with pretty regular frequency. We're getting into the next one right now. It's already begun. I would say the first year of this new solar minimum was actually the end of 2014. This is the first full year we're into it, and you can see the snow records dropping across the planet. 
cold records being just eclipsed by exponential amounts in, in parts of the northern hemisphere. This winter is definitely not over yet. That seems that vortex has now switched over into Russia and Central Asia along with parts of China. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. March and April are going to continue to see record snow and cold in different areas. This winter is far from over.